just taking a minute to remember that the caption on my personal Instagram for my picture when I graduated was a Captain Jack Sparrow quote of did everyone see that because I will not be doing that again and here we are doing it again Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm Anna Mae and today I'm going to be talking about how I'm going back to college. So if you are completely new here, I'm Anna Mae, I'm Irish, I'm currently 22 years old and I hold a bachelor's degree. <laughs> I have a BA in Politics and Information and Social Computing, which is a very complicated title, and please don't ask me to describe the second part. I know what I learned, it's hard to explain, but my focus has always been more on the politics side of things. I just did IS because I'm easily distracted. So I did that degree in three years. So I finished that degree in May, and then I worked through until December, uh, just in retail. And then I was going to the US, supposed to be for a year. This isn't the United States right here, this is Ireland, so that didn't work out. That's a video I keep saying, I'm gonna talk about that another time. But it's honestly something I need to plan so much because I don't wanna get in like legal trouble because I have a lot to say. So again, coming soon, it's currently being written. I need other people to look over it, but uh, yeah, I was there for six months and I actually interned at the United Nations. What? Uh, lots of videos about that. I'll just link that whole playlist up here and they'll be linked at the end and everything like that. So now that that's covered, it is now July and I've known this for quite a while and I just haven't really shared it on my channel because there were a lot of things going on, things I was applying to, things I was thinking about, just having a quarter life crisis but I'm not even there yet because I'm only 22. That's a big part of this, so let's actually get to what's happening and what I'm gonna do. So this September, I will be starting my master's degree. I'm going to be studying for a master's in peace and development studies uh, at a university that's kind of a commutable distance from here. Uh, it is an MA, so hopefully my class hours will not be huge, you know, like my contact hours, so uh, commuting makes sense for me. It's less than an hour away, and uh, yeah, I've decided to do that. It was a long process to start, to, to, to start, to decide, uh, and start. <laughs> it was a big decision to do it. Um, I, you know, as I said, I had like on Instagram, I was like, peace out! Do you know, I did my undergrad in three years. I don't know if I mentioned that. That's standard at the university that I was at for an arts degree. Uh, if you don't study abroad for a year. Basically, over the past couple of months, um, through kind of the job search, like the internship search, being an intern, living that life, I definitely realized things, Kylie Jenner. The biggest thing I realized was that I did want to study for a master's degree and I wanted to further my studies in a more specific area but I was always kind of like I'm not going to do that right away and I'm glad I didn't do it right away. It's still not right away. I took a year uh, and I did a lot of things in that year but I always thought it was going to be like more like three or four years down the line um, but things don't always work out that way and sometimes you have to go with the way things are going and not try and force something. And I think by not doing my masters now, I was kind of forcing something. Uh, this was the most natural progression. I felt like, especially after the internship, like I was only midway through the internship when I applied for this. Um, and I started thinking about doing this because it was a complicated situation and it just, it seemed like it was not only the right thing to do, but something I definitely wanted to do. Another big factor in this, as I mentioned before, is actually my age. I was always like, I'm 22, I'm so old. Uh, but I was the youngest person I met at the UN, which is weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone, except for maybe one girl, although I think she is a little, she is older than me. Uh, yeah, I was the oldest person, <laughs> the youngest person, sorry, I met. The next person who was also like everyone was like oh you guys are young he was a month older than me uh so i kind of realized that everybody else who was doing this kind of thing was older than me they had more education they 
basically for what I want to do, I, I can't do it without a master's. I need to be older. Um, a lot of areas, I don't want to get too specific, um, but like a lot of areas I want to get into, I need to be actually like officially three years older than I am now before they'll like consider me. So that kind of thing, I was really realizing that I'm young and I was thinking I'd rather be studying when my peer group is also studying. Uh, there's no benefit of being out in the big bad world when you're younger just to go back, just to say that you did it. I don't know, like most people that I went to secondary school with are actually still in their undergraduate degree, like they just finished their undergraduate degree. Whereas I was doing all this sort of stuff and I was kind of like, I kind of felt like I got the short straw by getting the short degree and I chose that way and I did like it that way. I liked that I did three years and then the year of intern and experience but uh, that was another big thing is that sometimes you need to slow down and actually someone you should follow on Instagram is Kim, Kimberly Mooseman I believe is her name, Kimber Moose. I'll write her here. I actually I have to write it down here because I only have iMovie but uh, you should definitely follow her on Instagram. She's really fun uh, and she does some really fun photo shoots. <laughs> She posted today on how do you deal with trying to slow down in life and I was like because I really had to do that I realized that I had my foot to the floor and I was speeding and speeding and speeding through and there's not that much of a benefit to that that's what I learned you know if you're maybe people think that you're ahead of the crowd but you're actually not it's like not that fun I'm going to be honest with you, it's not that fun. This is just a one year master's degree. Um, I'm able to live at home and commute from home and then take that as my launching space. That's how I feel about it. I believe it's a 12 month master's as well, so I'll be done coming up on this time next year. Um, and yeah, it's a big change. I really didn't think I'd be going, obviously, I posted that on Instagram, like, jokingly and I knew I would go back and do a master's like soon-ish but that wasn't even a year ago like not a year so in some ways I'm like Amy what are you doing why are you doing this to yourself but to learn things because so as I said I'm, my degree is going to be in peace and development studies that's what I want to work in and it's something that you need a much larger educational background for so that's why I'm doing it because it's what I wanted to do. And I think taking that year out really did help me solidify. I was kind of like, oh, but I can do comms and I'm good at like comms stuff. But I realized I don't want to do comms, enjoyable. But I also, in my position, watching all the meetings, I was like, yeah, I don't want to do comms. I want to do that. And that's why we're here. So I'm starting college in September. Ah! For the second time! I really didn't think I was going to be that person with a master's degree. I don't expect this to like fix anything because my life is a mess. But uh, Christy Vetter, if you watch her vlogs, she kind of studies in the same area as me. And she was actually at UNOG. She was just doing a tour because she's studying in Geneva. And I was like, go to HQ. Uh, she was saying that I might be a mess, but I'm a mess with the master's degree. And I think that's true. I also want to mention I did consider studying internationally, but obviously not in the US because that's expensive. A lot of Americans were like, oh, you're studying here? I was like, hell no, it's so expensive. Um, so I'm studying in Ireland, obviously. And I considered London um, because my best friend and her brother lived there. And I also had a friend I used to dance with. And like, I have, I know people who were there and it's so close to home. But I decided like cost of living wise, it just wasn't gonna make sense and I'd want to travel a bit more um, while I'm here. And one of my other really good friends is taking a year out now. She just finished undergrad. So, um, and she might be working in another country for the second half of the year, so of the like academic year. So I will be able to see her more. And it's just about slowing down life, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna get some back to school content, except I'm old and it's a master's degree. Ah! So this video is long enough, that's my life update. Uh, I'm going to try and get me a master's in Peace and Development Studies at the University of Limerick. I'll say it, nobody's going to stalk on me. I'm going to do my readings this time, I promise. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And there's also some videos about my UN stuff if you want to see those. That is it for this video, I hope you enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, I'll see you in my next one.